Hey, now, Richmond leaders have declared a housing crisis for the city of Richmond. Tonight, citizens want to know what's next. And 8 News reporter Roland Wilson was in that meeting tonight. She joins us live outside of City Hall with what city leaders are saying now. Roland, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Eric. That declaration came out of City Hall just hours ago and inside that meeting, Richmonders say they do not want the action to stop at this declaration. They want city leaders to put action to their words and they want to see some next steps. Inside City Hall tonight, council members declared a housing crisis for the city of Richmond. However, Richmond residents and housing advocates are still left asking the question, once this crisis is declared, what will that mean? And what area will be addressed first? This approved resolution states the city recognizes Richmond residents are paying more than 30% of their income on housing costs, 60% of Virginia renters saw rent increases this year, and that there is more than a 23,000 unit shortage in the city. Before tonight's meeting, I spoke with Councilwoman Reva Trammell about the affordable housing concerns she's seeing. What I'm hearing is that people want the money released now. And we've had meetings upon meetings and council members have, you know, committed themselves that the money is coming. You know, but we don't write the checks. We don't write the checks. Trammell says council is budgeting for assistance, but the money isn't flowing to Richmonders quickly enough. So even though the city just received a $14 million federal investment that will help build 1,000 units a year through the end of the decade, residents and leaders want to see action now. I'm hoping in my prayers that the mayor and council does not just declare housing as a crisis in Richmond, but we do something about it. And we come in time of crisis, and we have one, one foot in the grave, one out the door. For immediate action, Councilwoman Stephanie Lynch recommends cracking down on short-term rentals to put that land back on the housing market. Council members also discussed addressing out-of-state buyers who are charging Richmonders more to live. As the budget session continues... Is there more funding on the way? The mayor has said it's going to be, yes. Now, the mayor was not available for an interview tonight, but we plan to continue to press him along with the rest of the council for what immediate changes can be made in addition to this declaration. To read it for yourself, visit this story online at WRIC.com. Reporting live in Richmond tonight, Roland Wilson, 8 News.